Hello everyone. Hope you're all well. For anyone who doesn't know, my name is Darren Campbell. I'm one of the owners of West Candle Company. And I've kind of, for a while, been meaning to do some vlogging. So this is the first one, so bear with me. Um, it's just on the phone, nothing fancy. And I'm just walking through the woods in my local village here with a dog. So if you're wondering why I'm looking at the floor, I'm just on a very muddy path right now. So I'm having to take some care. But yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, this is the first of many vlogs that I'm looking to do. And just kind of keep you all up to date in regards with what we're doing. What new products we've got coming out. We've got a new collection coming out soon. I wanted to share with you things that are going on behind the scenes and how we make the candles and what our aspirations are with the company and things like that. So yeah, I'll be doing these on the regular. So be sure to check them out on Instagram TV and YouTube uh, for more information on everything that's going on behind the scenes. But in this particular video, I just wanted to talk about how this company came about and a little bit about my background and how the past uh, two years have been. We've been in business for a year now, but there was a sort of process behind that. They took about a year to set everything up. So I'll tell you a little story about that. And lastly, I just wanted to come on here and sort of thank everyone that's got behind us and supported the company, all the friends, family and customers in the past uh, probably 15 months that have come on board and purchased candles from us, shared our story on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube or whatever. It's really, really appreciated. and. It's so cool getting feedback back from people that have purchased the candles or emails saying that they were on holiday in like the sky and they picked up a candle and they took it back to their home in a different country in a different part of the world. It's, it's really cool. It's been an exciting journey and uh, there's so much more to come and it's really, really awesome to have you all as, as part of that. So yeah, in this video, I just wanted to first of all explain why we set this company up and how it came about. So for anyone who doesn't know, my background is in media. I've worked on something like probably eight or 900 different video productions, short films, music videos, weddings, um, advertisements, commercials, that kind of thing. And I've loved it. I've done it for about 15, 16 years professionally. I studied at Aberdeen College in 2003, graduated in 2005. And from there, just sort of snowballed the company picking up clients. And yeah, absolutely love it. And in 2017, I had a, a really busy year with the company. And uh, I was up and down the country. I was filming weddings in one part of the country. Then I was head up to like Zinverness, film an advert for a client. And it was just a super stressful time. Uh, it was kind of eating into all my time filming and editing, I wasn't really getting an opportunity to spend time with my family, with my friends, and it was just totally taken over. And there were some mornings where it almost felt like the stress was too much and I was going to have a heart attack. So it's like, oh my God, something needs to happen here. And it was about that time, that period in about autumn 2017, that my mum had just retired recently. And she was, for anyone who doesn't know, my mum's my business partner with West Candle Company. So she was looking for something to do. She was really passionate about candles, as was I. My wife had introduced me to lots of lovely candles from around the world and it kind of, our flat was just full of fancy candles and I loved them. I loved the idea behind how something as simple as a candle can tell a story and how branding can separate it from all the other candles and all the cool stories that come with uh, marketing a product and things like that. So that really appealed to me and my mum just loved making them. She was quite a, a great source for her crafty background, that kind of thing, and really good at making things really creative. So it was a, it's a conversation we had it during that period of how could I help her sell more candles to her friends and her family. And uh, decided just to make it official and just to start a business. I would help her with the marketing side of things. And we're both quite creative people, so we immediately got to work on, you know, what would it be about and what would the story behind the brand be and it didn't take us long to realise that my my family are from the west coast of Scotland so I've got family in the Isle of Lewis and 
which is like Fort William, just scattered about all over the place. Got family in Sky. So there's that Hebridean connection, and it didn't take us long to sort of settle upon that as a theme. So I'm just going to turn around here because I've kind of reached the main road here. I'm just going to keep going for. Bear with me a second. This is a new camera. The dog's having a great time. The dog's name's Harris. You'll probably see him in a lot of uh, future video content. But yeah, during that time in sort of autumn 2017, we realised that we were going to base this company on the west coast of Scotland. And to start with, it would be all about the Hebrides because we know that part of the world so well with growing up there and visiting people all the time throughout the year so it just made sense and uh, because I was in that period that really stressful period of working for myself and having hundreds of clients at any given time it was so stressful that it was like right this needs to be about helping people experience less stress so yeah we settled on that idea of calling the company West Candle Company and having a focus on the west coast of Scotland and all the beauty that comes with that, all the places to explore. And it didn't take us long to come up with our three initial candles. So that's obviously the Bothy, the Bjown and the Macher. You may never have heard them pronounced that way before, but two of the names are Gaelic. Obviously Bothy is pretty self-explanatory, but Macher is Gaelic for sort of a floral plain that you would find near a beach up in uh, the Outer Hebrides. So if you take a close look next time you're up in a beach like sort of at the likes of Luskintyre or a similar beach, you'll probably see fields of this really fertile land. And Bjown is uh, Gaelic for mountain. So I'll basically explain to you how those three candles came about. So in autumn of 2017, uh, me and my wife decided that the whole stress of dealing with all these clients uh, working like 16 hours a day was just too much and it needed to stop so we needed to get away because my wife was very busy with her job and she works in occupational health and yeah we both have quite stressful jobs and we were both in desperate need of a holiday so we booked a a cottage or a bothy quite a high-end bothy in sky it was this beautiful scandinavian sort of design that looked over these mountains and we stayed there for a week and it was brilliant waking up every morning and just seeing the snow in the mountains. I think it was sort of early November. And uh, honestly, it was such a game changer to me. It was the first time that I'd ever gone on holiday and felt like I completely was able to just switch off away from my work. I wasn't thinking about work. I was just focusing on nature and the land. We were lighting log fires every night. We were drinking whiskey. We were out walking in the mountains, walking through woods, getting caught in the rain and it just wasn't bothering us. It was just such a such a great experience. And then we went up to Harris on the ferry. We drove around Harris, we visited like sort of Luskintair Beach and it just felt so peaceful walking along this beach. Even in the rain, getting the sense of the seaweed and walking in the macher and sort of smelling the fragrance from that. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. And then we sort of stayed a couple of days up in Uig, up in the west coast of the Isle of Lewis. I've got family up there, so we we're lucky enough to get a, a property for um, a long weekend up there. So that was amazing. But yeah, the whole experience just sort of changed something in my mind. It was like, wow, why have I not bothered getting back to nature and exploring Scotland in that kind of detail before? And actually, rather than just going on a quick road trip somewhere one day, why not just stop there, pause, breathe it in for a couple of days? And yeah, that was, we kind of walked away from that going, wow, that honestly was one of the best holidays. And I came back from it just going to my business partner, my mum. I know exactly what this company needs to be about now. We need to create a, a range of candles that help people experience these amazing things like living in a bothy, lighting a fire, drinking whiskey at night just relaxing, listening to the sounds of the log fire, walking through the woods, getting caught in the rain, listening to the waves on a beach out in the Outer Hebrides, just experiencing complete peace. And obviously not everyone can experience that, so a candle is a great way to sort of switch off and bring that experience into the home. 
we're obviously hoping to expand. We've got a new range coming out in autumn this year. It's going to be focusing on wellness. So it's a collection of candles that are made from essential oils. And that's basically going to be candles that you can use to help you with your yoga, with your meditation, candles that help you wind down after a really stressful day, candles that you can light to experience places that you might never get to visit. So for example, there's a couple of places in Scotland that are quite rare and have quite rare scents. So that's what this new collection is all about. I'm not going to give, as you can probably tell, too much details at the moment because I'm wanting to keep it a surprise. But uh, in the coming months, you're going to see different posts about um, little teasers of the new range. And I'm really looking forward to getting those up on the website and into shops um, for you all to enjoy. So yeah, that's how it kind of came about towards the end of 2017. And it took about 12 months from there to sort of set everything up in the sense of testing everything. It took so long to test all the different kind of jars that we were going to use, the different names that we were going to go with, the different fragrance combinations, finding the right suppliers to work with. We're really lucky to find a lot of local suppliers. So the product's obviously made in Scotland. It's made from uh, a vegan soy wax, so it's a sustainable soy wax, which is excellent. It took us quite a while to, to settle upon exactly what we were going to use. Alice keeps bumping into me with a stick. Thankfully he's put it down now. The first year has been, there's been a lot of highs and lows as I think any entrepreneur, any business person could tell you. Two seconds, I'm just going to jump over this little river. Um, yeah, but we definitely, definitely could not have done it without everyone's support. We've sold so many candles on our website. We're in 15 different shops throughout Scotland. Obviously this whole Corona thing has put a bit, of a, a bit of a stop to our growth this year, but we're going to be having some conversations soon about getting into some new shops and just getting spread out a bit more around Scotland. So yeah, it's exciting times and honestly from the bottom of my heart I'm just so grateful to everyone that supported us and bought our candles and we get emails every week from people saying your candles are the best, thank you so much, they've just arrived beautifully packaged, beautifully presented, thanking us for the wee notes that we put in our cards and yeah, there's some people that are buying candles on repeat every week or so. We couldn't ask for a better situation. So yeah, we're just getting started and honestly, thank you. If you've made it to the end of this video, well done because uh, it's just a all off the top of the head kind of thing. So. You'll have to bear with me for the next one. Next one's going to be more organised. But um, thanks for coming on this journey with us. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you're watching it on Instagram, thank you very much for the continued support. We do get a lot of support on Instagram from people. So we really appreciate it. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please do share it with your friends. Are you done now? <laughs> Again, with a stick. Um, yeah, so again, thank you to everyone who's supporting us and watching our content and sharing our content and obviously purchasing our candles. We hope that you enjoy them and we look forward to getting more feedback from you and obviously we really appreciate you coming on board this journey with us. So thank you, take care of yourselves and I hope you have a relaxing week. Bye bye. Oh and sorry, just one more thing before I go, we've got our summer sale on at the moment. Um, so our candles are down from £30 to £22.50 and just a small shipping charge. Um, they're sent by Royal Mail First Class. Um, if you've been following the page for a while and you're not sure about ordering a candle before you've had a chance to smell it, we're offering a full refund. So if you don't like the scent of the candle, you can ship it back to us for a full refund. and uh, Or you can swap it for an alternative candle. So yeah, head to www.westcandlecompany.co.uk and you'll see our candles on there and you'll see what they're all about. And uh, yeah, the sale's not going to last too long. We're probably going to keep it going for another couple of weeks. And uh, this is a great time to try out a candle if you've not already um, used that West Candle Company before. So yeah, check it out and uh, thanks very much. Cheers.